Shalom. We know that on Shabbat, we're not allowed to do certain things. We're not allowed to turn on a light on Shabbat, light a fire, cook something on the stove. We know that all of those things are forbidden. But we also know that those are only actions are only forbidden to a Jew. A Gentile does not have to keep Shabbat. In fact, it's forbidden for a Gentile to keep Shabbat because it is an oath between the Jewish people and God. It's a sign between the Jewish people and God. And if a Gentile would come along and claim that they are keeping Shabbat, they're also observing Shabbat, they're sort of injecting themselves into that, into that sign between the Jewish people and God, and they have no right to do that. So what if we would tell a Gentile to go ahead and turn the light on for us? After all, we're not turning on the light, and the Gentile himself is not turning on the light. Well, there's something called a mural akum on Shabbat, a Jewish law that states that you're not allowed to tell a Gentile to do something. The reasoning is clear. Number one, we would take it lightheartedly. We would come along and say, well, it's not that serious. And then we might come ourselves to violate the law. It also makes Shabbat seem not as special when you could just go ahead and cheat the system and find uh, when there's a will, there's a way. So we really are not allowed. It's completely forbidden to tell a Gentile to go ahead and to do something that we're not allowed to on Shabbat. Now, Let's say there's a situation where desperately we need something done. A light is off in the bathroom and we need the light on. So we can hint. Now a hint is a hint. It's not a direction. So you can tell the Gentile, wow, wish the light was on. I'm not allowed to turn it on. And if the Gentile gets the hint, then that's fine. But it's got to be a hint and cannot be a directive to the Gentile to turn on the light. Okay, that's our halacha of the day. Shalom.